Welcome back, my second grade Magic Treehouse reading friends. We're going to continue with Polar Bears past bedtime. And we're going to start with Chapter 7, Spirit Lights. Jack, can you get up now, said Annie. Jack opened his eyes. Annie was standing over him. She still had her mask on. We're on safe ground, she said. Jack felt as if he'd been dreaming. He looked around. They had reached the tundra at the edge of the frozen sea. The cubs were romping in the distance, but their mother was, sti was still sitting nearby, gazing at Jack and Annie. She waited to make sure we were safe, said Annie. Jack stared at the polar bear in awe. The words of the seal hunter came back to him. Always thank the animal spirits. We should thank the polar bear spirit now, he said. Of course, said Annie. Jack scrambled to his feet. Still wearing his bear mask, he stood before the polar bear and pressed his hands together. We thank you, he said, bowing. Yes, we thank you forever, said Annie, also bowing. We thank you beyond the moon and the stars, said Jack. And beyond the deepest sea, Annie added. Then she threw out her arms and twirled around. Jack did the same. They both danced around in the snow, honoring the bear. Finally, they stopped and bowed one last time. When they looked up, the polar bear rose up on her hind legs. She was twice as tall as Jack. She lowered her huge head as if she were bowing back to them. At that moment, the sky exploded. The night became a giant swirl of red, green, and purple lights. It looked like a genie coming out of a magic lamp. The sight took Jack's breath away. He stared in wonder as the dazzling lights lit the tundra. Is it the polar bear spirit? Annie asked in a hushed voice. As far as Jack could see, the sky and snow shimmered. Even the bear's fur shimmered in the strange light. No, it's not a spirit, said Jack. There's got to be a scientific reason. I'll find out. Shaking, he reached into the backpack and pulled out the Arctic book. He took off his bear mask and put on his glasses. By the greenish glow, Jack found a picture of the skylights. The picture didn't come close to the real thing. He read aloud. One of the most amazing sights in the Arctic is the northern lights. The swirl of light is caused by electrically charged particles from the sun striking atoms and molecules in the Earth's atmosphere. See, there is a scientific reason, said Jack. It's not the spirits. Then, suddenly, all the dancing lights were gone, as if someone had blown out a candle. The magic had ended. Chapter 8 Riddle solved. Now only the moon shone on the snow. Jack looked around for the polar bear. She was gone. Where'd she go? asked Annie. I don't know, said Jack. He looked over the tundra. There was no sign of the giant bear or her cubs. Maybe she's not interested in scientific reasons, Jack said. Annie sighed. She took off her bear mask and handed it to Jack. He put both their masks in his pack. Now what? asked Annie. They looked around. The vast fields of snow ended in darkness. Jack had no idea where they were. He shrugged. I guess we just have to walk and hope for the best. Wait, listen, said Annie. From the distance came howling sounds. They grew louder and louder. Yay, we don't have to wait long, said Annie. The huskies are coming. Howling filled the night as the dog sled came into view. The seal hunter was running beside it. We're here, over here, called Jack. He ran toward the sled, and Annie followed. I was afraid you were lost, said the seal hunter. We were, said Annie, and we got stuck on thin ice, too. But a polar bear helped us. Yes, said Jack, and we wore your masks, and they made us feel like bears. Yes, the masks made us brave, said Annie, and she caught her breath. Oh, man, wait, said Jack. Annie's words sounded familiar. He took out his notebook and read Morgan's riddle aloud. I cover what's real and hide what's true, but sometimes I bring out the courage in you. What am I? A mask, Jack and Annie said together. The seal hunter smiled. You knew, said Annie. It was for you to discover, said the seal hunter, not me. Jack pulled the bear mask out of his backpack. Here, he said, thanks a lot. The hunter took the mask and put them inside his parka. We can go home now, said Jack. Do you mind taking us back to the treehouse, said Annie? The seal hunter shook his head. Climb on, he said. Jack and Annie climbed onto the dog sled. Mush, said the seal hunter. Mush, said Annie. 
Mush, said Jack. Snow began to fall as they took off across the dark ice. Okay, my friends, almost finished. Two more chapters to the end of the book. Perfect timing because it's the end of our year. Happy listening. Bye.